Baishya Savan is not a film on famine, even though famine had a great impact on me, which was the direct result of the war economy which was thrust on us by the British imperialists. But then my primary job was to depict the human relationship. And uh, human relationship is, can be felt intensely only when you pass through a crisis. So that is why I place the whole story against the, the famine years. Uh, <coughs> it even started a little earlier, but the relationship got worsened during the famine. And my job was not to show the horror or the cruelty of the famine, but it, I call it a cruel film. I was not interested in how many people died out of starvation. I know the five million people in one year just dropped and dropped dead. But then that was, it was, it would have been very journalistic had I given an account of the deaths. My interest was to show how during this social calamity, which killed so many people, how the last vestige of human decency in us also gets lost, liquidated. And that was the point I wanted to make among, uh, between the man and the woman, the husband and wife. And interestingly, the wife was very young and the husband was middle-aged, so difference of age was embarrassingly wide. On the top of it, by Indian standard, the man looked rather ugly. So that was it. So that to a certain extent, uh, you know, contributed, that contributed to a certain extent to the relationship, you know, heightening the relationship, you know, making it more dramatic. And because of the war, the, uh, the famine started. And because of the famine, how we also lose human decency, that was it. Can you think of any scene today that somehow symbolizes for you the a sense of that loss of human decency in, in that Well, case. that was when uh, the family starved for three days, didn't have a grain of rice to eat. Then finally on the fourth day, the husband could organize some rice for them. And the man ate the entire f rice like a glutton. And when he was eating, as he was eating, he didn't stop for a moment. He was looking into the bowl. And the woman, who was also starving for three days, what did she do? She, was, she looked deep into the man with hatred, which could be read on the face of the woman, Madhavi. And she played marvelous role. And she was looking deep into the man and was pouring rice, giving rice to him. And when it came to her, she had very little to eat and she didn't eat at all. And when the man could realize that, the, that he ate all the food and didn't leave much for the woman, and the woman was decent enough not to say it, but by gesture, she wanted to make it known that you didn't leave anything for me. But she had that element of decency. Why? She didn't say it. She was not articulate about it. And right at the moment, the man thought, what did I do? I wish I could vomit it out. And that night, this woman came from the bed. And the husband could hear him, hear the woman talking to her friend. I said, well, I don't mind starvation. I had been starving <coughs> when I was being reared up in a family. Uh, a very poor family. Well, then <coughs> I didn't mind that. I see that he's changing. He has been changing. And uh, her friend was telling her that, well, the things are changing these days. And she said, has everything changed? Did I change? I didn't mind it. When I saw her for the first time, when I saw him for the first time, I mean the husband, when I saw him for the first time, I. I survived. But don't you see, I have been denied of a womanly existence. Now, this is what she realizes right now. When the crisis deepens, only then <coughs> she realizes that she has been denied of a healthy womanly life. She didn't have it. And that also, you know, comes to her at a time when the situation is terrible. 
these are the things which I try to portray and that shows the loss of human decency from either side. And that is what I wanted to show and that is how I wanted to show the horror of, the, of this social calamity.